Hey what is up guys my name is Kimofi and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel now I apologize for all the inactivity on the channel recently but that's about to change and I have a brand new video out for you guys today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can install WEMP server on your computer what that is is Windows Apache MySQL PHP server it allows you to run a site locally you could host websites on your own computer turn your computer into a website server so the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to the first link in the description wempserver.com slash en make sure it's slash en or else you'll be taken to the french version hit download it's going to scroll down and it's going to ask you which version of wemp you want to download 64-bit or 32-bit now i'm running a 64-bit pc so i'm going to download 64-bit and I'll just press download directly. And if you're not sure which version of Windows you're running, you can easily check that by going into control panel. Once control panel opens, go over into system and security. And then tap on system. And it's going to take you to this page. Just locate system type. It's going to be 64-bit operating system or 32-bit operating system. So download the appropriate version of WAMP onto your computer. And WAMP is downloading right now. I'll come back to you guys once it's done downloading. And the WAMP download is finally done. So let's just go ahead and open that up. Let's give it a second to load up. Tap yes on the UAC prompt. Hit OK on the language. Accept the agreement. Go next, next. I'm going to be downloading WAMP to the default location. And hit install. So now just give this like 5 to 10 minutes to extract all the files into your desired location. So I'm going to leave it like this and come back later. And you're going to get to a point like this in your WAMP installation, so just hit no. Or if you want to use a different browser than Internet Explorer to view your local host files, then hit yes. I'm going to be choosing Google Chrome as my default browser, so let me just pull up the location for that. By right-clicking, going to Properties, and copying the target, Control-C, and then I'll just paste that up here. Use Notepad as your default browser and just do open. Use Notepad as default uh, text editor. And it's going to go ahead and finish the WAMP installation. So just give it a minute. Allow access on your private network. Don't do public and hit allow. Because uh, WAMP needs port 80 through your firewall. They need to have access to port 80 so that you can use Apache and localhost on your website. So I'll come back to you once this part of the installation is done. And once WAMP is over, just hit next and finish the installation. Now you're going to have this desktop icon to launch WAMP. And once you open it, it should bring up a user uh, UAC dialog. Uh, asking you if you really want to open the program hit yes if it does not ask you for that prompt then you're gonna have to do something else with your WAMP installation you're gonna have to right click it then press run as administrator if you don't do that the WAMP icon here will never turn green and you will never be able to access localhost I'll have more tutorials on WAMP coming in the near future let me just load up localhost and show you that the WAMP installation was successful. If you see this page, that means the WAMP installation was successful. If you're having problems with WAMP, just tell me down below in the comments. I'll be sure to reply to your comment, help you out with whatever problem you're facing. And that's about it. Now you have WAMP installed. And if you really want to change, if you want to add some stuff or change the directory, change the files in WAMP, all you're going to have to do is open up this WAMP, click on the green icon. So one second, let me just place it there. Just click on it and select www directory. 
And this is where all your files will go that you need to run WAMP. So as you can see, here's the index.php file that we see here. So all you're going to have to do is delete everything here and put whatever you want in there, such as WordPress. If you're downloading WordPress, delete everything that's currently here and paste WordPress in there. Now, if you do want to access your PHP MyAdmin to create new databases, just go to localhost slash PHP my admin. One second, I didn't type the slash, so sorry about that. I'll just click the link here. And in PHP my admin, you'll see a page like this. The default username is root and there is no password, so hit go. And you should be loaded up into the database manager. So that's about it for this installation of WAMP. If you guys like this video, if you guys want to see more videos like this, tell me in the comments down below. I read all the comments, I reply to them. That's about it for this video. My name is Kimofi, and I'll see you in the next one.